Forex realisation gains and losses are on the revenue account in accordance with Division 775, where gains are taken to assessable income and losses to deductions. Aussie Proprietary Limited sells stock to an overseas purchaser for 1,000 Great Britain pounds on 30-day credit terms. At the time of invoice on September 1, the spot rate was 0.47. The invoice was paid on September 30 when the spot rate was 0.45. This example demonstrates Forex Realisation Event 2, or FRE2 and the $95 gain is included in assessable income in accordance with section 775-15. FRE2 is where the taxpayer ceases to have a right to receive foreign currency. This occurs when the right expires or the amount of foreign currency is received, in which case the right to receive is extinguished. For example, a withdrawal from a foreign currency denominated account or receiving an amount from an overseas debtor under a sales contract denominated in a foreign currency. Forex Realisation Event 2 and Event 4 are the most common Forex Realisation events. FRE 4 is when the taxpayer ceases to have an obligation to pay foreign currency. This occurs when the obligation expires or the foreign currency is paid, that is, that the obligation to pay is extinguished. For example, when the taxpayer pays an amount to an overseas creditor under a purchase contract denominated in a foreign currency. So let's look at where Aussie Proprietary Limited purchases trading stock from overseas for US$1,000 on 30-day credit terms. The stock became on hand when delivered to the shipping agent on August 1. On this date, the currency spot rate was 0.65. Aussie then paid the US$1,000 debt on August 30 when the spot rate was 0.7. The FRE4 gain of $110 is included in assessable income in accordance with Section 775-15. Remember that if this was a loss, it would be included as a deduction under Section 775-30. There are exceptions to these rules. They include short-term forex gains and losses on the acquisition of capital assets, such as acquisition of CGT assets, where if FRE4 occurs within 12 months after acquisition, then the gain is subtracted from the cost base and reduced cost base, or a loss is added to cost base and reduced cost base. For the acquisition of depreciating assets, if FRE4 occurs within 12 months before or after the time the taxpayer becomes the holder, then the gain is subtracted from the cost or opening adjustable value, or a loss is added to the cost or opening adjustable value. For example, Aussie Proprietary Limited entered into a contract to acquire a CGT asset on August 1 for US$1,000, when the currency spot rate was 0.65. Aussie paid the debt on August 30 when the spot rate was 0.7. In this case, the cost base of the CGT asset is reduced by the gain of $110. To recap, foreign exchange rate translation occurs using the spot rate applicable at the relevant tax time. As a result, we get realisation gains and losses when the Forex realisation event occurs. This is usually when cash is received for income or cash is paid for deductions.